Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you um, a unique uh, pair of earrings, a little bit that resembles uh, probably along the same lines as a Chandwali, uh, but there's going to be a small uh, difference to it. Uh, so what I've done here is I've already made a pair of stud. I have put in um, two hooks, two U-pins rather, over here. If you see, I've put it in and you can visibly make out that this is already dried. Uh, it's it's bone dry and uh, you know it's it's easy for me to handle because it is bone dry. And I think in my previous videos I've always said that if you're working on earrings with multiple layers it's better that you work in parts. Uh, so if this is the first part of the earring please make sure something like this is ready. It makes things a lot easier for you to handle the piece. I have a uh, you know cookie cutter over here a round shaped one. A rolled out slab of clay what I'm gonna do is I would just cut out one circular shape like this take it out smoothen it Once smoothened, what I would do is um, you can use anything that is of, um, you know, more like another smaller cookie cutter or something like a pen cap or anything that you please in order to make a small circular, um, rather, a, um, you know, just a, just a circle in the center and cut it off. So I, first I'd, I just position it, make sure it's, you know, it's correctly placed in the center and only then make the cut. So... Just trying to remove that mark because I just want to make sure that it's in the center. You'll see why uh, or rather what I'm going to do with it uh, post I have cut it. Once that is done, you have something like this. Just, you know, you may want to just... So what happens is any excess, see I, I want this portion to be, you know, nice and perfectly round. So I just try to smoothen it with the smooth part of any tool, which is, you know, it could be a pen, it could be a refill. I just roll it out in circles so that, you know, I just get a really smooth center. That's it. Um, I go on to smoothen it again. Once that's smoothened out, what I would do is, I would actually cut it. And I get two semicircular halves in this manner. Try to be as precise as you can. If you are not, then I would suggest you use a scale. Once this is done, you know ideally how this is going to be positioned. Now, if you want, uh, you can always make this particular um, curvature a little bit more deeper by, say, using a, a slightly bigger cookie cutter. Now, if I were to do this, I would just use this. I would do this probably have these ready I'll just cut off a little bit more from this that's it so you already figure out that you know it's it's kind of in this manner if you see how I play how I want to place the earring you'll see that it's in this it's in this manner which is why I said that there's a there's a small teeny tiny little difference it's along the same idea as that of a Chan Bali but uh, there is something that's going to be a tad bit different um, now that we know uh, this is how we're going to place it uh, we'll just try and smoothen out the whole thing give an appropriate design as well anything that you please I would want to probably do something what I did um, uh, yesterday. Yeah, yesterday I showed you how I would use a needle tool and uh, make a couple of designs. So I would probably do that. The teeny tiny little bush kind of a design. A plant bush or a, anything. So 
something thin enough. Just use the nozzle like this. that way. I'll work on the other pair as well. something like that now now that it's it's done um, so you can obviously imagine why I would always say work in parts because clearly when when both these parts are extremely wet you know it's going to be very difficult for you to uh, put, put in the pin and um, you know join the two so at least if one part is dry you're able to hold this on um, you know quite without any hesitation because you know it's not going to distort the shape it's completely dry so that is a big advantage there. Uh, I'll just, I have a couple of my fingerprints and all, just wipe it clean. Once that's done, I have a few U-pins. Um, I always keep things ready. So you can use your uh, bent nose plier if needed. And put in one of them here. Because these are corner, corner to corner pieces, uh, you would want to do something like that. I have my other one. Be very gentle, be very careful in handling these pieces because uh, it's of a delicate nature. You don't want it to, you know, just break and... You know, you just want to be careful about how you handle the whole piece and um, you know, try to finish it off neatly. I'm just trying to, you know, uh, make the ex any amount of excess clay that's kind of jutting out. I just try to press it back inside and finish it off neatly. Uh, even though it's it's just a hook, uh, it's it just makes a lot of difference when some things are finished off neatly and well. Oh, okay. I think, I think I missed to put the hook through that. Let me just redo that again. If something like that does happen, um, you may want to just rework on that portion and then uh, repeat it and not do it without doing it because what happens is uh, the hole has already been made and if you just keep uh, piercing it through you're just going to uh, make it look very shabby in that area so you might as well finish it off neatly in this manner and restart because the clay is wet and all uh, you know it makes it it makes it easy to do any kind of corrections at this stage so well, there this way I think it makes it a lot more easier for you to handle the piece and you also are convinced that it's it's neat and tidy so I'll go on to the other one as well a bent nose plier in this case always helps uh, you know it just it just makes things a lot easier because uh, well our hands are not this tiny so sometimes it just doesn't fit in the in these little gaps so gentle and slow this is not a race so once that's done I just use this to push it in a little bit more and there you go you have a neat beautiful simple little pair here 
but wait this is not done the other thing that I would want to obviously add to this is this is a this is a relatively simple earring so you know you don't have to really uh, uh, worry about too many I mean you know I won't be using too many stick beads and all of those and that but uh, this would have one more layer coming up so what I would do now is I would add another u-pin correctly at the center like that you may want to be very careful doing this just at the center let that be the way it is now we can take a small quantity of clay use our little you know jhumka mold measure a small quantity of clay in size one two three four five in the fifth one that's what i'm doing and Make that into a round ball. Now in my previous videos, I've already uploaded the method of doing a conical shaped jhumka and that's exactly what I will be doing here. I'll make this into a simple conical shaped, a small jhumka. Okay, that's what you'll get, uh, you know, with five. Once that is done, remember that conical shaped jhumka, I would use these three fingers, press and turn, press and turn and you know once you see the shape already developing, make use of your board and neat in it. this one press and turn press and turn remember that these are the only three fingers that I'm using once you have a basic shape make use of your work board and neaten it One of the most basic things in a jhumka is you at least, especially in a cone shaped one is that you want to make sure both are of the exact same size. So that is something that you get and you will, you will get it with practice. Um, once you have achieved that, you can just smoothen the edges. I'll go back to using my needle tool to make the design. I just want to make something which matches this so I would just do the same thing here I'd make about four of them uh, which gives me opposites so just easier something like that repeat with this one and show you how that design looks so it'll be this way so you know that it's going to be a three layer earring it's not as uh, you know you might think this is probably going to look very heavy or seem very heavy but it's actually not uh, if you realize uh, if you see that we are actually not added any kind of uh, you know uh, stick beads or ghungru beads or anything of that sort because that also ends up adding a little bit of weight to the entire piece we will just be adding one uh, gungru bead at the base of this particular jhumka and that should you know that should be it just giving it an, a small roll that's all i'm not going to do much there because i don't want it to lose its design once that is done i'll just add some 
four dots to it as well. I'll add two gunguru beads at the base. There you go. I have two of these cute little earrings here. Remember that to this side, you are able to, you know, you can actually add stick beads if, if you want, if you feel like, uh, you know, um, adding them. Uh, but I don't, uh, I wouldn't do it because the intention is not to make these earrings uh, heavy. So I'll just use another one. Remember that this can also be split again into another part. This is because for the video, I'm just trying to show it to you in one go. What I will do now is I'll just add on this one to this particular earring. But after this stage is done, you can let this dry and then give it a couple of hours and then make the conical jhumka and attach it. So it makes it a lot easier. Be slow at this because remember the second layer, which is this semicircular one is still pretty wet. And there you go let me take another one and there so you have to really nice different looking earrings ready for you and uh, i really hope you uh, you know you like the video it's a simple it's a simple earring just that you know uh, when you do it in parts it makes things a lot more easier you know work on this part with the pins let it dry then work on the semicircular part with the pin let it dry then you work on the conical shaped jhumka and then attach and then you know you'll have a you'll have a unique lightweight it's it's quite light it's actually not heavy uh, even though it looks a little heavy but uh, yep yeah, this is it really hope you like the video everyone if yes please like the video and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you so much for watching please don't try picking it up like the way i did because it's it's not to be meddled with i just wanted to show you um, show this just in a more closer uh, view it's simple i have not done too many designs on it kept it simple Thanks everyone. Thank you so much for watching.